Today I'm going to show you how I make one of my stroke abstracts. Here's an example that's also going to be at the Arts League of Lowell, my favorite place show in March and April. This one's titled Walk With Me. And stroked abstract means that I use like a palette knife or a single edge razor blade to apply paint to the canvas and then fill in the intervening spaces with brush stroke work to make, for instance, the sky, which blends from yellows, reds, and blues, um, and also add small little details. The process starts right here where I mix my paints on some plate glass with a gray background and in this case it's leftover paint that I was using to paint the painting Here We Are. Here on my computer screen is the painting Here We Are. This is a very large painting. It's six feet wide by 40 inches high and you can see the uh, large amounts of green that are used here. In this view you can see Here We Are hanging uh, in my studio. So once again, in that painting which has a lot of green in it, I was using cadmium yellow, some Windsor green, some permanent green, and some Viridian to paint the, the lawn and all the grass and trees that you find in that painting. And at the end of the day, I'll have a lot of paint left over. So what I'll do is I'll take, on some days, just use a single edge razor blade to scrape off the remaining paint and discard it. Other times, I'll have some nice mixtures of a lot of paint left over, and I'll use that in this case to grab some of that paint and come over here to the painting and I'll start making little strokes on the blank canvas. A painting like this has no original design that sort of develops by itself involuntarily. So with those greens now loaded on the brush you can see how I make both short strokes, say for the very dark sections here, but I can also use it to make some sweeping strokes as you can see in some of the green areas, to fill in those areas with sort of a palette knife effect. When I was done doing all of that, I could start to see hills and shapes, and as is usual in my mind, I start to see objects, often living objects, and if you look closely here, you'll see a structure that could have been a hill that turned into like some kind of a being. You can see the mouth over here, and the eye, which I've put in there on purpose, maybe some hair growing out. This section over here could either be this being's hand or just an abstract shape rising up and then sort of like exploding into pieces as if the vegetation is rising into the sky. In the end I decided since it was so dark in here with lots of shades of darker green that I would make it sort of like a, an evening sky um, going from the yellows up to the dark blues. And finally I was reminded of the kind of drops here that you might have found in the Matrix movie where all the reality of the of the scene turns into like digital greens and little numbers that float down and so that's why you see a lot of vertical almost like falling rain kind of patterns here with, uh, with blues with some light blue dots put on there to bring out highlights and down in here some vertical streaks of like a, uh, a pinkish a terracotta type color with some small white dots uh, to do that. Now I'll show you a close-up so you can see some of this close-up. So here's some close-ups. You can see the hills rising up slowly till we get to the actual sunset. And above here a close-up of the being, whatever kind of a being this is, some kind of an animal type creature, who invites you into the painting. And in the end, I've titled it Walk With Me because I invite you, the observer, to join me in entering this kind of fantasy land where you can see the types of dreamscapes that I have in my mind. Walk With Me.